yeah, I mean, I, I think coming into this, I, I didn't have a, a medal in mind, like not like I didn't come in thinking, oh, I want to win gold or I want to win whatever. It was I want to deliver a medal winning performance. Um, we kind of know in the poll about what it takes to win a medal. It's it's creeping up slowly, but we thought 80, 85, 90, 95 would be sh would win a medal. So I kind of instead of thinking about uh, thinking about the medals, it was like right, I need to come in and deliver an eight, something like an eighty five jump, and to be able to perform that in the high pressure environment in a competition with a few kind of variables which were tricky. I'm just really really proud of myself that I was able to deliver that, and then was re rewarded with the medal. Yeah, I think I had such a rapid rise as a youngster, um, you know, being 19, 20 years old, being at home Olympics and jumping, you know, top top three kind of heights ever. Um, and I think then I had a really tough time with injuries and it wasn't that I didn't know whether I could. It was it was it was more. Can I keep putting my body through this? Can I keep getting injured um, when? when I had those three or four years of poor injuries, it, it wasn't, I, I always knew that I could be successful, but it was whether, whether my body could allow that. And we managed to get out of the rut and, you know, the last four or five years have been injury free, slowly chipping away um, working on technical things, physical things, lots of other things like that, my, my mental health. And I think it just makes it all worth it. And of course, like I, I, I persevered through that and it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to quit. It was, you know, can can, I, can my mind take this anymore? Like, am I psychologically strong enough to to carry on and this not break me? And yeah, to win an Olympic medal, um, it makes it all worthwhile.